सो दिस इज अ डेमोस्ट्रेशन ऑफ फिंगर प्रिंट बेस्ट बायोमेट्रिक अटेंडेंस सिस्टम दिस इज हाउ वी डाउनलोड द डेटा ऑफ द फिंगर प्रिंट सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द ट्यूटोरियल नाउ सो इन दिस प्रोजेक्ट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू डिजाइन फिंगर प्रिंट सेंसर बेस्ड बायोमेट्रिक अटेंडिंग सिस्टम नाउ दिस प्रोजेक्ट इज एप्लीकेबल इन स्कूल कॉलेज एंड इन इंडस्ट्रीज वेर द अटेंडेंस इज डन यूजिंग फिंगर प्रिंट स्कैनर सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट अल्टरनेटिव एगेंस्ट ट्रेडिशनल अटेंडेंस सिस्टम वी जस्ट नीड टू प्लेस आवर हैंड ऑन फिंगर प्रिंट स्कैनर एंड फिंगर प्रिंट डेटा विल बी स्टोर सो दिस इज हाउ इट वर्कस सो द मॉडल दैट वी आर गोइंग टू यूज इज आर थ्री जीरो फाइव फिंगर प्रिंट सेंसर दिस इज फ्रंट व्यू एंड दिस वन इज द बैक व्यू दिस मॉडल इज अवेलेबल इन अराउंड डिफरेंट मोड्स सो हाउ फिंगर प्रिंट सेंसर वर्क दिस इज द एक्सप्लेशन द लाइट फ्रॉम द फिंगर प्रिंट स्कैनर फॉल्स ऑन द सेंसर and when no finger is placed output is dull but when a finger is placed the light from the finger bulb falls on finger it is reflected back via sensor and a spot is created so you can simply see how the light is blocked and light from the valleys are gone so this is how the data are stored now every finger print is marked with some point or some line now this some points and some lines are stored in binary format that is in the form of 1 and 0 this is how the data is stored for making this project we require arduino uno board or any other arduino board we need r305 or r307 fingerprint sensor we need 16 into 2 ghd 162 lcd ds3231 or ds1307 rtc module we need four push buttons a buzzer and simply an led of any color so this is the block diagram of fingerprint based attendant system so fingerprint sensor works as a scanner there are four push button that is used for registering deleting forward and reverse cases led indication is always one for power indication rtc module displays time lcd for input output display buzzer for indicating various purpose and computer interface for downloading the data that is stored by a attendant system so this is simply a block diagram now we'll convert this block diagram into circuit diagram the circuit diagram is based on this whole system so this is the circuit diagram we have used the uh, analog pins a0 to a3 as digital pins for controlling four push buttons uh, this is rtc module connected to stn scl pin of arduino that is f1 f5 r305 tx and rx is connected to 2 and 3 use for software serial communication and lcd is connected via pin 8 to 13 this is the demonstration of the project rtc module these are four push buttons this is lcd this is led indication for power r305 finger pin sensor arduino you know simply you can see the function of four button register back delete okay and forward and reverse we will supply the power so finger pin attendant system the model is being searched for model is found now this is the time and then simply press the first button now with the help of forward and reverse button select the location where you want to store the fingerprint it can store 200 fingerprints but i have programmed to store only 25 click on okay button place your finger image is taken remove finger place your finger again the data is stored 
Similarly, we will follow the same steps with other fingers. For example, my one hand has five fingers, so I'll be doing with four finger, middle finger, index finger, and ring finger. Place your hand properly, else the data will not be stored as finger should be scanned properly like this. So four finger data is stored. Now we'll do it the middle finger. Middle finger ID three. Click on OK button. So data is stored. Data is stored again. So I'll do same thing with my ring finger. Sorry, the finger is not placed, so the finger is stored. Same thing will be done with the help of index finger. So my data is stored. Now simply click the first button. Sorry, don't click. Just place your hand. Your tendency register. Try with any of the finger several times. This will simply register the attendance. So the finger is identified and the attendance is registered. The program link is given in the description below. Follow each and every line of the program in order to edit or change some data. So now it's time to download the data. So simply click on serial monitor putting your Arduino board connected to the computer. So when disconnected, it will be displayed as found fingerprint sensor. So after displaying this, go to your fingerprint sensor and click on reset button and enroll button both at the same time. This will start downloading. Remember for downloading, click the reset button of Arduino and the first button of this four push buttons so you can see on the left side data is being downloaded so this indicates serial number one user id one two three p incoming and outgoing cam when they has entered last time when they has gone including time and date so I have programmed for 25 fingerprint, but I have only taken 5 fingers. Now this is the program. We have we need two library file that is fingerprint library and RTC module library. Simply I have given the link in the description. Go below and download the library file. Add to your zip. I have downloaded already so I think uh, I don't need to download it but you have to download to compile the code so let's begin with the explanation this is the library for fingerprint this is for storing the data this tool line is for interfacing LCD with Arduino this is for TX RX communication 
this is for communication as well and this is for real time clock of ds3231 now we have assigned the four button register and back button as 14 delete and ok button as 15 forward as 16 and reverse as 17 now index finger is 7 and buzzer is for 5 this 7 was for led power indication defined records means you can use 10 users 20 users 13 users assign anything as it is i have given records as 10 so i have assigned 10 users below so the programming actually very long so i'm not gonna explain each and every line so you need to understand by yourself by the data of fingerprint sensor or the github code for fingerprint sensor so simply it just the time and date from here this line this line will adjust the time and date then please keep this line else you will go at the wrong timing so I did the uh, edit the code as for the number of users so now I will simply show you the compiling so the compiling is going on and it is done finally so upload the code Thank you for watching, please subscribe my channel for more such projects. Thank you for encouraging me.